All right, match in progress, and I jump into two guys immediately attacking me. This is gonna go really well. <laughs> oh, just like I suspected. Hello, welcome back, and for those of you average players needing a little, uh, little sumo in your life, we are gonna try out the Shugoki today. Played one match, warmed up, uh, you know, he's fun, he's really interesting, uh, really tough, really tough to kind of get a handle on at first, because his moveset's so basic, it's almost deceiving on how it looks limited, but it isn't. There, there, there's a ton of different ways you can mix things up, super defensive player, and uh, actually just uh, pretty cool. Just a big giant fat dude with a club of spikes on it who wants to crush your fucking skull. So let's go see if we can do a little bit of that. Round three. So a little bit of awesomeness from the get-go. Match in progress. But we'll take it. This is our second match as the Shigoki. Oh, that was a good start. Just let him hit you. Oh! That's right. That's right. And we're gonna break your back. We're gonna use all the cheap shit right off the bat. Boom. 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 Oh, and is that gonna kill you? Oh, I think that's gonna kill you. Yeah, scream it out, fat boy. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. Let's go find our friends, because this game's always better with friends. Oh, and did we win that round already? Yes! Victory! Oh. Round four. <laughs> I think it's the same dude. God damn it! Could fall for the easy shit. Oh, come on, I tech that out. Boom! Alright, let's get ready to cheese him. Got him! I think he's gonna die. Yes! That is such a shitty fucking mechanic. If you're almost dead, and you get the back break like that, they die. If you're if you're in the, the throes of your last bar of health, and you can land that, they're dead. And you get almost all your health back. I'm gonna use it over and over, don't get me wrong, but it's totally shitty. And I, it's like a nice slow jog. By the time I get there, the fucking next match will be over. Let's get a little sword power up just in case. A little weapon boost. Run, fat boy, run! No, I'm big bone. I'm coming, y'all. Oh, did they get the revive? I may have fucked up and left that dude in the re- Yeah, I know I did. Let's do a little zone. Oh, get out of that! Oh, that was stupid. His mobility is challenging, to say the least. <laughs> But man, he's fun. Two matches in, he's fun. When I got my big ass cheeks on me like a hat, then that'll probably be different. Alright, let's, uh, can we fucking, can we do the little baseball swing thing? Oh, they're gonna run. You know what, does somebody need to guard bodies? I'll go, oh, are you gonna guard the body? Okay. I'll go try and help. If I can get there, Benny Hill music right now. No, we've been using that too much. You got him. You got him. Good fight, everybody. Round five. Fifth and final, boys and girls. Oh come on! I gotta get faster at that. Oh, he dodged it, which means I lose health on that. Oh, and he's gonna kill me. I deserve that. I deserve that. All right, so not too bad in, in, in my second 4v4. So we're gonna jump right to the 2v2s. Uh, usually we'll run it back if a 4v4 is super short, because I do like showing how characters work in the 4v4 setting, especially early on when you're just picking them up and gear score is an issue. But, I don't know, like, he felt really tough to use in 4v4 initially. I, I probably, if I'm recommending him as a character you're gonna play, 
practice maybe a little more than you would with some of the others, or just be ready for it to be difficult in the beginning, particularly difficult. I'm, I'm really struggling timing-wise. I mean, everyone's attack speed is different, and all the different, all the different components that make his skill set special. It's uh, it's tough. It's tough to kind of get a handle on. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. It's probably gonna be a shit show. Oh, that's a big boy, isn't he? Oh, we got that big hit in. I like that charged unblockable. It's nice. Got my 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 hyper armor back. Ooh. Oh damn it! He's gonna get the cheese chain going. I can't. I literally can't stop it. I literally could not stop it. Even though I'm holding up the block, I literally couldn't stop it. All right, let's try it again. This is against a ranged character. Come on, fat boy. Hey, don't call me fat butt bugger. You got this, fat boy. Let's get that hyper armor back, that little shimmery shine. Boom. Man, his guard break distance is so short. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Got to block, get that stamina back. Oh, I tried for the grab for the demon's embrace. It was a little closer. I mean, I'll say this, this, this applies to every character. When you're trying somebody out and you really want to get a feel for them, just be ready to eat shit a lot in the beginning. Because it's, everyone, they're all so different. And the timing required to get everything to work is so different. And it just, it takes practice. Use those practice options. That's what they're there for. Gotcha. Gotcha with the with the heavy feint. I like that. Let's see if I can get a big heavy on him. Oh, he moves. And of course. Managed to get out of the way of that one. So side dodge. His dodge is so slow and it's so short. Oh, how did he get out of that? That's oh he, oh, that back roll is a little shitty. Come on. Damn it. Well, I don't. Ha I got nothing for the warden. Nothing. All right, everybody stayed in. We're gonna do another uh, little two v two with the same crew. Yeah, figuring out the patterns, figuring out what works. There's just. Each character has its own difficulties, its own weaknesses, own strengths. It's just, it's tough to kind of learn what absolutely has to happen. Oh, come on, I blocked that. No! No! And I knew that was going to happen. Nice! Nice follow-up with the, uh, over the, the drop-down fucking slam. Good job, buddy. Yeah, learning the timing is so tough. It's fun because it's different. It's, it's completely different than any of the other characters I've used. And I, I've tried other heavies. I mean, it's, and that's the point. Damn it. That guard break distance is so short. Like, the Nabushi's range is so long. Like, how do I break that? See, even that, and that just, I don't, that damn near killed me just missing that. Oh, and I bled out. Son of a bitch. Sorry, teammate. This fat boy cannot get it done. No, that's just muscle. My teammate, the warden who abused me in the previous match, is carrying me like a fucking 600 pound backpack. Damn it! I'm just too slow. Too slow on, on stopping the guard break. But, I got that! I got that, that's for damn sure. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on. Use some defense, use some defense. Get the stamina back. There you go. There you go. Stalk him down. I mean, he's the coolest shit figure. It's funny how much of the fucking screen he takes up. Got him! See, that's something I really need to do a better job of, is using that uninterruptible light. As long as they don't hit you twice, that's going to hit them no matter what. Alright, on to the 1v1s. Ready, and begin! Respect my authority! This is going to be tough. This is going to be a little bit, uh, a little different than the rest, just because of, I, I think, how... Boom! Just because I think of how, for me at least, how tough. Look at that! What a shitty way to win. What a shitty way to win. <laughs> but I love it. That's all right. I'll set you on fire. She's burning. All right. After our first one v one was a bit of a failure after the first round, let's uh, let's try it again. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get fucking smoked. That's all right though. That's how you figure it out. That's how you learn. Learn who works. Oh, he knew that was coming. He knew that was coming. And he stopped, interrupted that with a guard break. Alright, so this guy's uh, he's keen to that move. Damn it. That's right. Respect my authority! Can we get you again? Nope. He knew. Get that block on that. Come on. Come on. He's gonna win, but we're gonna at least do a little more damage. Maybe not. Maybe we won't. Oh, come on. I blocked that. It's alright. So learn from that. Like, how do we exploit his speed? What can we do to either slow him down or damage him? He's gonna dash. Can we catch those guard breaks and those dashes with the guard break? Like that right there. Let's see if we can get another dash with the guard break. Nope. We can do that. Let's see if we can get a heavy on him. I uh, can't do shit. Parried it. I'm out of stamina though. Come on. Come on. Oh, little belly bumpers. Belly bumpers. Baseball bat time. I keep hoping he's going to dash forward into that big swing. Damn it. I fell for that. I fell for that. Oh, backbreaker time. Good fight. So slowing it down, exploiting his dashes, we got some guard breaks, we are able to punish a little bit, and I'm not taking nearly enough advantage of that unblockable light. And I did not kill myself by abusing the demon's embrace this time either, so that's always a plus. Oh, oh, come on, be smarter than that. I should have known that was coming. Boom. Damn it. Oh, the wall saved me. The wall saved me. Can we get a demon's embrace? Can we do that? Oh, I fucked up. No, oh, look at the health that takes. Look at the health that takes. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself! Oh, you idiot! Alright, come on. Let's let's at least stretch this out to round five. Let's at least make this a good showing. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, I blocked that! I'm so slow on the timing for the guard break. Caught him in the dash, that's what we wanted. 
Let's go for a light. And see if we can get the heavy to follow. One more light. Nice! That's exactly what we wanted. That unstoppable light. Well, not unstoppable. One hit cannot interrupt it. A second hit before it lands will. Alright, final round. Let's give him a little emote. a boy. Sweep the floor. Come on, fat boy. I'm f fat as f Gotta, 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 gotta catch those dashes. Gotta make sure on the, these faster characters I catch those dashes. And I didn't mean to do that, actually. Didn't mean to do a Demon's Embrace. I was meant to do that, but I've eaten way too much for mistakes. Damn it, damn it. Oh, damn it, he's too fucking far away. Oh, and I asked for that. Good fight. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take that. And that is the Shigoki. I think to sum him up the best, uh, he is the embodiment of this game, at least the way I, I, I play it. Like, For Honor has the highest highs and the lowest lows. When you're playing well and you're cutting heads off and you're just kicking the shit out of everybody, it's, it's amazing. And when you're getting your teeth kicked in, you have to do everything in your power to not throw your controller, throw your dog at the TV, punch the wall, punch yourself, whatever you do to relieve that level of stress. It's amazing how frustrated it can, it can get you. That's not even factoring in the issues the game has technically. I'm just talking about somebody being better than you consistently. And playing him, I felt that way. Like, when it worked, it's so fun. Like, his moves are so awesome. He does things that nobody else does. A lot of it's because of his weapon set and because he is the truest heavy in the game. And then when it doesn't work and my frustrations are like with the Peacekeeper where I can't stop anything. Or I got trapped in a spam where I couldn't dodge out of it or block in time. And that's when it, I, I hated him. So... You know, play at your own risk with any of the characters, knowing that you're going to be very frustrated early on. But wait till you get that reward, that, that, that sense of accomplishment when you start to figure them out. And you do something on purpose. You put together a chain or a mix-up that wins a match on purpose. And it's fun. The, the, the technical change-ups that are required, switching between the characters, really shows you how different they are. And he is definitely the epitome of the highs and lows, in my opinion. I, I pick them up, pick them all up. None of these videos are to tell you who to play and who not to play. It's to show you what it's like jumping in with cold feet. Cold feet. Um, jumping in just first, never trying them out. But it, he's worth worth the try if you're looking for something different especially. I had a lot of fun with them. And we'll play them again. So uh, until the next one. Respect.